Hey, and welcome back to the Trico Maintenance Room. Now, last week we went through the installation of our drum pump filtration system. And this week we're going to go through the operation of it. But before we do that, let's look at a few of the features and functions that exist on this system. Starting up here on the filter head, we have two sample ports. One on the inlet side, which is pre-filtered. One on the outlet side, which is post-filtered. Now, if you're looking to understand the condition of the oil that's in the barrel, unfiltered, use the inlet sample port to draw your sample. If you're looking to understand what the filter has done for you, either through one pass or multiple passes, then using the output sample port's the better place to do that. Let's take a look at how to draw a sample. So first, we'll start by removing the sample port cap and threading on the sample port adapter that's connected to our vacuum pump. Now this is gonna open a ball valve inside of the sample port and allow us to draw oil directly from the pump and filter. And you can see that oil coming right through our tube. And this is gonna make for a great representative sample that's pre-filtered. Once you've completed filling your sample port bottle, you can use the pressure relief valve on the front of the vacuum pump to stop the flow of oil. Then we'll remove our sample bottle from the vacuum pump cap it and label it to send off to our lab. Once you're finished with the sample, we'll remove the sample port adapter and reattach the sample port cap. Now on the opposite side of the head, we have the pressure gauges. And we have two of them here, one on the inlet side and one on the outlet side again. Now the inlet pressure gauge is gonna tell you about the pressure directly coming from the pump. And the outlet pressure gauge is gonna tell you about the pressure coming out of the filter. Now this is gonna be an indication of the cleanliness of your filter. And the important thing to remember here is the differential pressure between one gauge and the other. Now when we turn the system on, you're gonna see the pressure increase inside of the system. That's gonna be represented in both gauges. When you hit a differential pressure between the two gauges of 43 PSI, a bypass valve inside of the filter head is going to open up and your filter is no longer going to be in use, indicating it's time to replace it. Now let's take a look at how to change this filter. I'm going to use a filter strap here to loosen this. And with a drain pan underneath, I'm going to remove the filter. Now your new filter is gonna come with a replacement filter gasket. Now I'm gonna remove the existing gasket using a screwdriver or some kind of sharp object that you can get around the filter gasket with. Then I'll take the new gasket, seat it in the filter head groove until it's secure and wipe a little bit of oil around that before putting the filter on. Once the filter is hand tight, use a strap wrench to turn it an additional quarter turn and seat the filter against the gasket. Now last week when we received this oil and we sampled it, we found out that the cleanliness code wasn't where we wanted it to be. Now we've hooked this up in a recirculation fashion and Trico's recommendations are to turn this oil over six to seven times. Now once you've connected your hose to the return bung, make sure to turn off the ball valve on the Y fitting. This will prevent any return oil from splashing up into the desiccant breather. So this is an ISO 220 and we're gonna be pumping it at room temperature. Now looking at the operating manual, we see that this is gonna have a flow rate of two and a quarter gallons per minute. So for 55 gallons, it's gonna take us roughly 25 minutes to circulate this barrel one time. That means we're gonna leave this running for two and a half to three hours. Now once those two and a half to three hours are up, it's always a good idea to take a sample from the system again and send it off to your lab. That way you'll be sure that you've reached a cleanliness level that's suitable for your applications. Before you start dispensing, be sure to return that ball valve to the on position. That concludes the operation of our drum pump filtration system. If you have any questions, reach out to us. Thanks for watching.